Good morning church. Today we finish our look at Psalm 68. Psalm 68 from verse 33. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens, which were of old, lo, he doth send out his voice, and that a mighty voice. Ascribe ye strength unto God, his excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. O God, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God. We've seen the sovereignty of God over the earth. We've seen the sovereignty of God over his enemies and even for his people. And here the psalmist asks us to lift our eyes to the heavens and to even see the sovereignty of our God, the God who is the God of strength. And the psalmist brings our attention to this in verse 33, to him, the Lord, that rideth upon the heavens of heavens, which were of old, lo, he does send out his voice, and that a mighty voice. The idea here is, that God is over and above even the highest heights, that God is sovereign over the whole of the world, that he looks down upon us and sees all and is all powerful. He sends out his word and that reminds us of, of creation where he spoke and out of nothing came everything. This is the strength of our God, the might of his voice. Verse 34, ascribe ye strength unto God, his excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. Here we have that picture again of God brooding over his people, leading them, if we think back to Exodus, where the pillar of cloud led the people of Israel. It's all of this imagery included here. And we are to ascribe strength to him as we consider his mighty works for his people of old and even for his strength in our days. Ascribe ye strength unto God. O God, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. It's strange for us to think of the terror and the terribleness of God and yet we see again and again in scripture when the Lord manifests himself to his people the reaction is that they they do not fall backwards uh, they, they often do not raise their hands and start praising and ecstatically uh, crying out to God rather they fall to their faces and it takes the Lord to say fear not fear not I am with you and the terribleness of God is something that's lost within the churches um, and in one sense, there, there's a sense that that terror has been absorbed, has been taken by Jesus Christ. But it says we diminish the holiness and the majesty of God, that we become far too familiar with God. And we treat him as our, our buddy rather than the almighty God, the terrible God of the scriptures. The idea of offending him when we have that idea in our minds becomes less and less holiness becomes less and less important to us and we we must be careful we must be careful that we do not live our lives in fear because Christ Jesus has taken all of the condemnation Christ Jesus has cleansed us from our sin he has he's united us to himself and in that sense there is now no condemnation for them in Christ Jesus but equally we shouldn't belittle God and approach him as if he, he he's one of us he is transcendent he is glorious he's majest, majestic he is high above all and we must keep these two things uh, in tension and always in our thoughts. And also to remember that it is this God, this God that gives strength and power unto his people. It is through his loving kindness that we day by day raise from our beds. Uh, the sunshine that we have around us today is a good gift of God. Our families are a good gift of God. 
and our friends are a good gift of God, the church, everything that enables us to worship him and to ascribe glory to his name. It is him that has given it. Blessed be God is how this psalm finishes. And that is exactly where I'd like to finish today. Blessed be the Lord God, sovereign ruler of the heavens and the earth, our God and our Saviour, our King and our Lord, our friend, our friend, our brother. Let's pray. Our gracious Lord and Heavenly Father, we do indeed want to extol your name, for you are the mighty God, the God who rules all things in accordance to your will. Lord, your ways are not our ways, your thoughts are not our thoughts, they're so much higher and above all that we could ever imagine. Lord, we do not understand at this time why you have brought this COVID-19 to this world. We do not understand all of the implications. Father, we can make uh, small guesses as it why you are talking to this world, calling them to repent and to trust in Christ, that their lives are not within their own hands. Our lives are not within our own hands. But Lord, you are the giver of life. Lord, you are the taker of life. You are majestic. You are glorious. You are King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Sovereign Lord over all. And we bless your name today. We bless your name always for the wonderful acts that you have achieved in history, redeeming your people out of Israel, redeeming your people and bringing them into a land, a home where you will dwell in the midst. How you have redeemed your people in and through the life, death, resurrection, ascension and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ to establish that kingdom, that kingdom where your people and you will dwell forever. Blessed be the name of our Lord God Almighty. And we pray in his name, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless.